Hey guys, welcome back to another Song of Blades and Heroes battle report. This should be a pretty fun one. Uh, let's take a look at Laura's new warband. Right here is her leader. Uh, she clocks in at 83 points. Uh, she got a quality of 2, combat of 3. Has the leadership trait. And also has Savage, which uh, inflicts gruesome kills just by doubling it. So that should be uh, pretty interesting. Right uh, next to the leader, we have uh, Human Barbarian. Some of these characters were from the Cell Swords game, and she liked them, so she uh, ported them in over here. Uh, we got a Human Barbarian. She comes in at 44 points, quality of three, combat of three, fearless, and has shooter medium with that crossbow. Right over here on the end, uh, we've got a Human Archer, uh, just your standard Human Archer, 44 points. Um, quality of three, combat three, shooter long. Some of these may have been altered in the character, uh, cr the warband creator. Can't quite remember which is which because uh, I did a lot today. Um, and then let's come back over here uh, to this end. We have uh, someone who's always making appearances, and that's Chrissy. She's the human elite archer at 50 points. Shooter long, unerring aim, which is half range penalty. Coming in with a quality of three and a combat of three. And then right here, we have the small green dragon. 80 points, quality of three plus, uh, combat of four, flying, big, and shooter long. So let's take a look at uh, my new warband. So here's my new warband that I'll be playing today. As you can see, we've got a lot of creepy crawlies here uh, and some drow uh, but let's start over here on the far left uh, we just have some little spiders I had to custom make these because I couldn't find any regular spiders in the book maybe I just overlooked them I mean I, I there was a giant spider under giant bugs but these are just uh, little littler spiders uh, they come in at 26 points each uh, 78 total points they got clinging they got entangle but they have poison uh, with a, a quality of five which stinks and a combat of one so uh, when I told Laura about these she kind of was like <gasps> but then I explained that there's a five quality in combat of one so on poison uh, after every successful bite you roll a five or a six and uh, if I get a five or a six you roll a d6 if I get a five or a six their quality goes by one, by one because they get a jo uh, jolt of poison so that's pretty cool. Next, let's move over to the big nasty here. This is the giant spider coming in at 82 points. Quality of three, combat of four, clinging, poison, animal, and tangle, and big. Ugh. Uh, let's come over here down to the end. Now, I don't know how much you guys know about D&D, &D, um, but in the drow society, men are kind of the little... Uh, the male ones are <laughs> kind of secondary uh, in, in the drow society. So this is... Uh, the the Drider's little minion right here, uh, Dark Elf Warrior, uh, comes in at 30 points, uh, quality of 3, combat of 3, and is evil. That means that uh, he can shoot into combat uh, with friendly enemies, but he doesn't have any shooting. So, uh, let's go over here to the main uh, antagonist of this group and of this scenario, and that's the Drider Wizard. She comes in at 90 points. Uh, with a quality of two, a combat of three. She's evil. She has good shot. She has magic user and she has clinging. Now, I gave her magic user instead of leader because it makes a little bit more sense of what's going on in this scenario that I'll explain to you guys. Uh, the only bad part about not having leader is she can't give group activations to this little group of spiders right here. Um, but that's okay. I I'd rather have it fit the narrative. And uh, this is my group of drow slash spiders. And let's check out the board. Here's our board. I posted a picture of this earlier in the week. Uh, it looks a little bit different now. Uh, once I had the epiphany here to make this into the underdark, I just felt the colors really were underdarky. Uh, so we removed the trees and we put in some underdark rocks that I had made a few years ago. Covered them in spider webs because this is now a set of ruins taken over by my Drow Warband. Um, one of the scenario pieces that we, we did roll on a couple things during the week. One of the scenario pieces is Cursed Ruins, uh, Cursed Ruins, and this portal right here, it's, uh, there's three different kinds of Cursed Ruins, 
and we got Lurker from another world. So um, something pretty nasty here, and I'm not going to show you guys what we have picked out, but we have a couple different things picked out, and at the end of each round, something could come out of that portal, be summoned through that portal. So that's why I took the Dryder and made her a wizard, because we want to say that uh, the Dryder Wizard is trying to open this portal into the Abyss in hopes of filling the Underdark with a legion of monstrosities. And they want to attack uh, the mortal realm above. Uh, so basically, Laura's uh, group of adventurers has forged a pack with a green dragon to put a stop to this. Alright, here's Laura. Hi. So, we already rolled during the week. And uh, she's going to be coming after me. Uh, so I'm back here. Now it says in the assassination rules that I can set up anywhere long distance, but why would I want to set up closer to her? So I think I'm just going to stay back here. And this is a running game basically, because she's going to be coming after me, um, uh, after my leader. And, uh, there's going to be a little bit of strategy going on. So we're going to go ahead and roll initiative. Uh, let's see what you get. Uh, Laura gets a four, I get a five, and I'm going to go first. I really don't want to go closer to her. Um, I'm going to just... I, I don't know if you have to move. I'm just going to pass all my turns and just wait for her to go. What? <laughs> what? All right. yeah. And, okay, since all my guys have went... Now I have to roll six-sided to see if something comes out of that portal over there. Now it will side with whoever has more models. In this case it would be me and I really kind of need it because she has that stinking dragon over there that can fly over these walls and come at my leader. So yeah, I'm hoping for a six. Oh! I got a six! <laughs> Laura wasn't very happy with this. So this dude appears and it's so awesome because I'm going to have him come over here and defend my leader. I'm going to activate my dragon. I just need yep. to choose because he's right next to the leader. And I get all three. Okay, my dragon is going to go over here. Move up to here. And, and then I didn't even see this. she's going to fire. She's going to shoot fire down toward this thing. We already measured it. So it's uh, at a range penalty of minus two. So, yeah, go ahead. See what you get. Nine. Yeah, she said nine, and I was like, dude, you gotta take the minus two off. So she's got seven. All right, uh, big dude right here. Uh, I'm only gonna do his stats once, just so you guys know. Uh, he's got a quality of three, a combat of four. He's got big, tough, slow, dashing, and uh, amphibian, which he doesn't need here. But you got a seven. Um, he's got a nine. So the flames cover his body, and it doesn't even hurt him, but he does turn and look at you. <laughs> I'm gonna activate my archer. Chrissy? Yeah. Yep, and I need to have twos to activate her. I got all three. So she's gonna go up Move here. Move all the way up to that wall. And, and she's then... gonna climb because she got all three and she's gonna be right there. Okay, well, you gotta make a quality check. Yep, and she made it. Okay, so she makes it up to the doorway there. I'm gonna activate my archer. archer. Yep. And I need to have twos. And I get all three. Ready? Okay, and the archer is just going to go right to the doorway. Activate the barbarian. Yep. And I need to have twos. And Dang. I get all three. I'm going to put the barbarian right here by the entryway. Okay. Then I'm going to activate my leader. Yep. And I just need to have twos. And I got two. And the leader is going to go right by the barbarian. She's gonna, so they're both basically on the other side of that doorway. Mm -hmm. I'm going to activate the uh, giant spider here. Uh, it needs twos. Uh, gets two of them. Giant spider is going to move up to here. Activate draw warrior. He needs twos. Draw warrior moves up to here. So I'm kind of in a predicament here because I don't have leadership, so I can't give these uh, these guys a group move. But they have such a bad quality that I don't want to blow this because I have to get my leader up there where that guy can act like a bodyguard. So I'm going to go ahead and just... I don't really... Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go with my leader here. Needs twos. Uh, she gets all three of them. 
Uh, the drider is going to move up to about right there. And then will I still, um, I'm going to move actually to about right there. I want to be able to still give my leadership to those spiders back there. My leader can, uh, give command to the, uh, big beastie down there. He's going to have twos, so we're going to go with him. Uh, he gets all three of them. Big beastie dude is going to move. Boom, boom. He's going to move to about right here because I have a feeling that dragon's going to come over the wall to defend my boss right there. And then the flunky spiders down there, they need fours. So we'll start with the first one. Um, <laughs> that's a turnover, of course. And uh, he's going to move. He'll just move up to about right there. I'm going to activate the dragon and all okay. I need is threes. All right. Oh, that's a turnover. Oh, I'm sorry. All I need is twos because it's right next to the leader. Uh, you better measure that, man. Yes. Is that within long? Yes. Okay. So she's going to fly down, land right here, and look through this crack and take a fire breath at my spider right here. All right. What do you need? Oh. Four, five, six, seven. Seven? All right. Giant spider. Um, ooh, he's got a combat of four. Plus four is eight. That's a miss. I'm going to activate Chrissy. Yep. And I just need twos. And I get two. She's going to make her quality check in order to move down here. Ooh, what did you need? Two. <laughs> Lucky. All right, so your movement, you're going to move down here to the bottom. And then you got one more movement. He's going to go up and help out the dragon. Move up to about there? Yes. The human archer, I need threes. Okay. Well, actually twos, he's by the leader. I got two. I'm going to move over here by the dragon. Okay. Now, you could probably put him in that doorway, and he would have line of sight over to this whole situation, unless you want him hidden. No, I'll put him in the doorway. Okay, yeah, I can see him on the camera here. <laughs> He's got straight line of sight. I'm leaving those two. Just You're right leaving there. those two back in there? Mm -hmm. That's strange. Okay. Maybe I should go after your leader. Got to play this smart. And I got to play this defensively. I can't be stupid here. Now, I could go after her leader over there. Maybe send some rogue spiders out, but I just, I know it's going to seem kind of gamey, but no, not really. I mean, I just got to defend my leader here. So my leader's going to activate. Um, he needs twos. He gets both of them. And he's going to basically move... He'll move back over here. Activate the lurker from another world. He needs twos. Gets all, gets to a... He's going to move right about here. Giant spider needs threes. Gets one of them. Giant spider's coming back this way. Draw warrior needs threes. Gets two of them. Draw warrior. First move. Second move up to about right there. That spider right there needs fives. Uh, fails both and turns over. Activating the dragon. I just need to have twos. And I get two of them. I'm going to move my dragon right here and then he's going to blaze his fire right at him. Okay. Now I explained to her that she could kill that spider and that would even the teams up and then one more kill, this guy would switch over to her team, but she wants to kill my big spider there, so that's what she can do. It's a regular shot. Ooh. Nine. Dang, nine. Okay. Spider's got four. Oh, that's a six. The fire pushes me back an inch. Wait, Chrissy, she needs twos. And she gets all three. Chrissy's moving up by the dragon, and she's going to take a shot at the little spider. You're going to take a shot mm -hmm. at the spider? Mm -hmm. Okay. A four plus three is seven. Seven? I need a six. He's got a combat of one. Oh, he gets it! That's a tie! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Archer, I need twos. And I get all three. Okay, so he's going to move through there. There could be a roll to get through there, but not really. We're not doing that. Um, but he'll be about right there. And then he's going to take a shot at the spider? Yes. Aim shot? Yes. Put it out. She wants to come a little bit closer up to about right there. And then she's going to take a shot at this spider. Go for it. Dang. Nine. 
Nine. The spider can't win. <laughs> All right, so that's uh, four. He got five. Uh, what'd you roll on the dice? A six. A six. That's going to knock the spider down. I'm going to activate my human barbarian. I just With need two. Okay. I got two of them. It's going to go through the doorway and spring him up here. Yep. Bring her up here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to activate my leader. I need twos. I got all three. Leader is going to go over here. Oh, we have a spider that's down here that's probably going to get killed because he won't make his quality roll. And then one more creature will have to be killed in order for this thing to turn on me. So I'm making a surprise move. All right. The lurker needs twos. He gets all three of them. The lurker makes a surprise move, does his two movements, and comes all the way up here and attacks the dragon. Dun, dun, dun. So we both have big, so that cancels out. I don't have anybody around me. This is a straight up combat. She's got combat of four. I got a combat of four. You got rushed. Let's do it. Four and four, you got eight. Come on, baby. Uh, three and four is seven. You beat me by one, and you rolled a four. That knocks him down. Oh, man. Yes. Not good. Okay, that was dumb. That was probably a little dumb. I could have did something different, but I'm going to activate a giant spider here. He needs twos. Giant spider is going to move up to here. And then he's going to try to uh, entangle the dragon with webs. And entangle is kind of like transfix, but it's not a spell. You don't have to declare it. Um, I had two successes, so I moved up to here. Um, that leaves one dice, which makes this within short. So uh, you have to make a quality check, otherwise get entangled. He's got to make a quality check on one dice. Go for it. What do you need, a two? Yeah. Okay. The dragon doesn't get entangled by the webs. Reevaluating the situation. The big dude here is down. Uh, he does have toughness. So anyways, I'm trying to have formulate a game plan here. I noticed that her leader is over here pretty out there. Uh, my leader is going to activate it. It needs twos and gets two of them. All right, my leader is going to move up to about... I need this to be in short range. And yes, I declared the transfix. Make a quality check. You need what, twos? A two? Yeah. Come on, one. Nope. All right, I'm gonna make a move here with this dude. He needs threes. All right, so this dude moves up to here, and then he moves up to about right there, sneaking around the corner here for the leader. This spider right here, he is going to try to get up, um, and he's gonna go with all three of them. He needs a five in there somewhere. Nope. Turn over. Activate the dragon? Yeah. What do you need? Twos. You get plus two to the attack? Yeah. Oh. I get eight. Need four above, otherwise he loses one hit point. Nope. His quality goes up to four. Oh, activate the human archer. What do you need? Twos. So she's moving into combat. Um, against the lurker and gonna attack mm -hmm. she gets plus two because he's fallen and i have minus one because i'm outnumbered five six seven eight nine ten okay so she got what ten mm -hmm. Jeez. okay nope uh that's gonna be another hit point damage on him the lurker's quality is now five i'm gonna activate Chrissy, yep. and I need to have twos, and I get two of them. Okay, so Chrissy's coming around this way to play it safe, and she's going to attack. Mm -hmm. Combat's down by two. You just, what do you have? Four plus what's her combat? Three. So you got seven? Mm -hmm. um, my combat's two now. Nope, that's another damage. She is just wailing on this lurker from another world. Um, his quality is at six. One more hit point and he's dead. Barbarian. Okay, activate the barbarian. Yes. What do you need? And I need to have twos. Gets Get all three. three. He is... Well, you're not supposed... To, you're supposed to... You can't break up your moves. So one move to there 
And then, so we gotta play it right. One move into about here, and then the third move up into combat. No, I'm just gonna leave them there then. Okay. And then you choose. You get two of them right next to the barbarian. Oh, you're putting your leader right here, huh? Okay. Sitting here for about five minutes trying to figure this out, what I'm gonna do here. I gotta try to use some strategy. I'm declaring a transfix with my leader here on the dragon. So, I need twos. Gets all three of them. You have to roll three quality dice, any failure, and you are transfixed. What do you need, twos? Mm -hmm. Come on, just one. Okay, so I'm gonna activate the giant spider here. Needs twos, gets all three of them. Giant spider is going to move into combat on this side with the elven archer and that means that you are i have to double check because this guy's prone i'm not sure if you're outnumbered but i can still attack you okay so we just looked it up prone foes do count as for the outnumbered rule against uh the archer right there so this spider is poisonous this giant one and it's going to try to bite you so let's do it what's your uh, combat with him three five you got five Giant spider um, gets eight. But I also have other people. But they're not in. They're not in contact. Just these two are in con base to base contact with that guy right there. So it was almost a kill. Uh, but this is a knockdown right there, and I get to roll um, on, a, on a five or a six. You get poisoned. That's a four, not poisoned. I'm gonna activate my uh, draw warrior back there. He needs threes. Frickin' turnover. Draw warrior's gonna move up here, creeping around toward behind her leader. Activate my dragon, I need yep. twos. I get all three. So you have him and you have her. My combat's down by two. And you're doing a power blow. Mm -hmm. So I got minus three to my combat. Let's do it. I have nine. Nine, I got minus three. His combat's four, so I got one. Um, yep, that's gonna end up killing the lurker. Nice job. I get up that guy, what is his name? Oh, your archer? Mm -hmm. Activate the archer then? Just activate. I'm gonna do all three, because I want him up. What do you need? Twos. I got two. Your first one, you're standing up? Yep, and the second one, I'm going to kill that spider. You gonna attack him? Yes. Okay, gonna attack him? Yes. Four? Seven. Seven? Okay, I have plus one against you because I'm big. So I'm at five combat. Oh, that is ten. Um, and I knock you back an inch. I'm going to activate Chrissy. Yep. I just need twos. And I get all three. Oh, she sneaks, she turns around like she was going to fire on the spider and she surprised me by taking a shot at my leader, huh? I'm going to okay. do an aim shot. Okay. I've got eight. Eight. Mm -hmm. All right, so her combat's at minus one. Um, so, ooh, combat's at two. I got six. What'd you roll on the dice? Five. Five just knocks me back an inch, which is good. Activate my barbarian. Mm-hmm. And I need twos. So you're gonna move over a little? Yeah, just a little. And then take an aim shot? Yes. All right, go for it. Jeez. Nine. Holy smokes, you're killing it. Nine? Mm-hmm. All right, uh, Spider has... F oh, you have plus one, too, because I'm big. Shooting at me. Mm -hmm. So you got ten? Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Oh, dice off the table. Oh, I rolled a six and four is ten. Nice. I got lucky there. To my lead, I need two, so I got all three. Yep. I'm going to move her right with a barbarian. Just keep her there? Mm-hmm. That's it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, you used all your guys, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Uh, roll six-sided. See if anything comes out of the portal. <laughs> uh. Come on, six. Oh, it would have been so awesome if something would have came out of that portal right behind you. <laughs> Activate my leader. Needs twos. Gets all three of them. See, now I'm debating on blasting a lightning bolt at that dragon right there, but... After just getting shot at, I think she's gonna run. So my drider takes off this way, over toward the other side here, 
looking to climb up that wall. Activate the giant spider. I need uh, threes. Gets two of them. Totally has line of sight to shoot spider webs at your leader. I need uh, two quality checks. What's your quality? Two. But I need two of them. Twos. It's both. Uh. See, I was hoping to get her webbed and then come through with my dude back there <laughs> and secret, just like wipe your leader out. Dang it. All right, so I'm gonna activate my uh, warrior back there. He needs threes. Oh, that's nice. He gets one. He's gonna be brave and come through right there. Activate the stupid spider that's apparently badly hurt here. We're gonna try to get some fives. Yeah, dude, he gets up. <laughs> he flips over. Uh, next spider right here who hasn't done anything this game. It's a waste of points. Uh, he needs um, fives. He gets two of them. This spider skitters all the way up to there. Next one needs fives. He gets one of them. Moves up to there. Nice. That is the end of my turn, and I gotta roll a six sided dice and see if anything comes out of the portal to help me out. Oh, so close. I'm gonna activate my barbarian. Yep. What do you need? Choose. Okay. I don't think three. you've turned over once this game. Yep. Barbarian's gonna move around right over to here and then attack? Yes. Did you get all three successes? Yes. So power attack? Yes. And I'm outnumbered? Yes. So minus two to my combat. What'd you get? Six plus three is nine. Oh jeez. <laughs> you got nine. Um, I got five. Uh, that is going to almost kill him, but knock him down. You have to minus two. Okay, so actually, uh, that is going to be a kill. But what this does do is it makes it even on who the monster uh, follows if it comes out of the portal. A dragon. Okay. And I need to have twos. And I get all three. He's gonna shoot. So he's, he's gonna blow flames on the spider? Yes. All right, but you're gonna aim shot? Yes. So my combat's minus one. I have nine. Okay. Um, I have nine. Um, but minus one because it's a name shot. I got eight. What'd you roll on the dice? Five. Five knocks me back. I'm activate my human. Elite Chrissy. Arc. Yep. I need twos. Yeah. Aim okay. shot yep. on the spider. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have seven. Oh, let's see here. You have seven. I have. Oh, jeez. I have four. What'd you roll on the dice itself? Four. Four knocks this big spider down. Spider. Activate the archer. Mm hmm Okay. And, um... Three. I just need two. Two. Get so three. Okay. So do aim shot of Aim shot, spider. yep. Yep. You have plus... I got a nine. Jeez. Oh, I rolled a six! I got ten! I need twos. I get two. And do what? Move the leader with the dragon. Behind the dragon? With him, right next to the dragon. Oh, that's the end of your turn. Roll six-sided and see if anything comes out of the portal. Oh, oh, it does! So this is what comes out of the portal. We both have an even amount of people. In the scenario, it doesn't say, uh, what if you have an even amount of people? So we're gonna roll for it. Go ahead. You got a two? I got a six, he's on my side, and your leader and everybody is right here. So when the game looks so bad for me, this happens. I'm gonna activate him. Um, he needs threes. Are you freaking kidding me? I just rolled a turnover with him. Wow, do you believe that crap? I was gonna go right in for her leader, I had already measured it, and made sure he could fit in there and everything. Crap! <sighs> but he's still there. He's at least still there. It's your go. What are you going to do? I'm going to activate that archer. Yep. I get me twos. I get two of them. Oh, he's going to take a aim shot? Yeah. What, uh, do you have shooter long with him? Mm-hmm. 
Aim shot. Okay. You don't get any pluses for him being known. Oh, uh, nice. Boy. Oh, okay. You rolled a one. Roll it again. If you roll a one it again, your bowstring breaks. Okay. Uh, you had four. Uh, his combat is four. Yeah, he's. Yeah, that's a miss. I have to wait for see. Yeah. Twos. She's gonna shoot the spider. Aim shot. Time. Yes. Aim shot at the spider at the top. Six Dang. plus three is nine. Nine. Okay. He rolled a ten. <laughs> Activate my dragon. Yeah. And Didn't you already go with him? No. Two. Oh. I get two of them. Aim shot on the spider? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, six. Six? Plus he's down. You don't get any pluses for shooting down. But it's an aim shot. My combat's minus one. Ah! Uh, six. Five. And what'd you have? Six. Oh, that kills the spider! Okay, so... Let's count our models real quick. One, two, three, four. You have one, two, three, four, five. The big dude here turns on me and he's on your side now. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not good. Activate the barbarian. Yep, activate the barbarian. I need to get to them. You gonna turn around and aim shot? Yep. Okay. This is going to be an easy kill. Eight. Yep, that's going to do it. Uh, the spider gets uh, three. Yep, that's a kill. That is his activation. Uh, he's got qualities of three. Uh, with your leader, though, twos. Can he jump over stuff, or what's his No, role? he's got uh, big, tough, amphibious, and dashing. Twos. I get all three. It's a leader. Go for it. Move him right up to the leader. <gasps> okay, this game's pretty much over. I think Laura's gonna take this one. But we're gonna activate uh, my leader. She needs uh, threes. She gets all three of them. Power attack on this thing. It's got a combat of four, so it'll be three. <laughs> That's an eight. Um... Oh, and I get a four. That doubles it and kills the leader. That's the game. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. Right when you think that thing's going to be on your side. Yeah, I know. It comes changes. out right behind you. The game changes, doesn't yeah. it? This stupid thing. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed the game. Uh, make sure that if you, if you made it this far, give us a like and uh, leave a comment. Let us know you're out there. See you guys. Bye.